What's up, Fire Fan? My name is Karen Fire, and welcome to Last Oasis. In this video today, we're going to be discussing some of my starter tips for people beginning out on this survival game. In the beginning of this game, it is extremely important to press F3 because this is where your quests will be at. You are to follow these until you get to a point where you can get a walker out of them, which will be pretty early if you do things instructed. Having a walker in this game is extremely important because it's part of the main gameplay and it allows you to get around the map and get away from people. Also with walkers they contain things like storage for water, you can place things on the back, so they're just extremely important to have so do make sure you do that tutorial. The next thing we're talking about is water. Water is extremely important because you need this to survive. It is one of the main components of this game, you need it to fast travel to places and you need it to heal and all of that good stuff. So do make sure you grab some water. One of the ways to do it, just as I've done so with a grappling hook, is actually attach yourself to cactus trees that look a lot like this. So in this area you can see here, I have a bunch of cactus trees with cactus fruit hanging off. If you go to the top and harvest the fruit, it is great because they provide a little bit of water for you. Which means if you're in a pinch, then these trees can be an absolute lifesaver if you don't have a campfire or anything like that because somebody's just beating your ass. These cactus fruit can give you about 20 water, so it's quite nice just to drink them up and there you go. That way you can keep full on water and you don't become dehydrated or anything like that. The other way to go about getting water early on is also to chop down cactus. You can do so making yourself a wooden hatchet. Make a wooden hatchet, you would have to follow your tutorial, but we'll go over it very quickly. You need to go into your equipment tree and then go down. You will first need a beat stick and then you can make a woodcutter's hatchet. It will take eight stone and one wood shaft. And it can be crafted in the crafting menu, which is selected with C. You can make it in your weapons, so there you go, woodcutter's hatchet. And then all you need to do is attack whatever it is. So you can attack these big cactus trees for cactus, and you can attack the small cactuses as well for cactus flesh. Now you really, really want this cactus flesh because now we're gonna cook it into water, and this will give you even better water than it does with just the fruit. So if I go into my campfire, I'm gonna get some wood, if you hover over the wood, just a quick tip, you can see there's options to split and move single parts. I'm going to split my wood here so I can get it into my fire, hold shift, and then I just grab and pull. So now we have some. So I want to make some water. I'm going to put my cactus flesh in the input, and then you can see a recipe, purified water. I'm going to click on that, it's going to take me four cactus flesh to make one water. And there we go, it's cooking up my water, which is absolutely wonderful. That's exactly what I want to be able to drink it. A good thing to know as well, if you want to craft more than one water, if you're going to put the fire in, if you hold shift while you're doing this, you can do stacks of water. You can see it goes up in tens. So there we go. That will craft us stacks of water. So that is a handy thing to know. If you want to drink it just at the campfire, you can click on right click just to consume the water. But there's a better way to carry it around than just leaving it in your campfire, which you're going to need to do. So if we go back into our tech tree, we're going to look at equipment. In equipment, you're going to see a makeshift bottle, which you will need, but I do recommend upgrading to an improved bottle or anything like that. The better it is, the more water it will retain, but we have the basic one for now. Now, if you go back into your campfire, we see our water has cooked. But basically I have these makeshift bottles. They go in these square slots right here. And all I'm to do now is drag the water into the circles beneath them. You can see this bottle is only ho holding 5 water per one. So you can see that I would need to bring that in these slots to be able to carry it around with me. And if I just want to drink it from my bags, I just consume it with a right click. It's really that easy. So if I just want to drink, that's how you do it. So water is extremely important, so do get that underway as soon as possible. Make sure you have plenty of water 
at all times, because also water lets you fast travel. If we're to go on our map, you can see this is our area we're in now. It might look different for you because there's lots of different zones in this game. If I'm to transfer to my world map, you can see if I want to move to different servers around the place, I need water to be able to move from place to place. So this is another reason to have a bunch of water on you. Different lands have different resources and different special things like trading and all of that. Once you're out on the road, there are some important things to remember. We're going to need at some point to kill 10 monkeys and to actually get vases or urns. Now you can find vases and urns in these kind of basket things with vines hanging out of them. But they will be guarded by monkeys so you will need to be careful about that. You pretty much need a grapple to get up into them, that's what you need. And then you're to grapple up if you can. It can be a little bit tricky as you can see to get into them because they're not always ideal. And you've got plenty of angry monkey boys trying to bash me on the ass. So I'm going to try again. Try and get in this one. In we go. So you can see there is... Oop. You see below me there is a vase. We actually need to destroy that vase in there to be able to get our quest done. And it will also give you some items. So that is good to remember that you will need these baskets at some point for your missions. A good thing to know as well, plus and minus on your numpad will allow you to zoom in and out. So if these wings get in the way of you travelling, you can extend it out like that so things are a lot easier to move around without these ginormous wings getting in the way. An important thing to know when starting the game also is your hotkeys will be on your top left. So if you're wondering where everything is, then that's where it is. P is for your person, this is where you put your player stats into. Melee is an important one for that. I is for inventory, that's pretty much self-explanatory. You can also look at your personal equipment on show equipment to see what armor and stuff you have on. O is for your tech tree, so this is where you learn new things with fragments. C is for your crafting menu, so this is for bandages and weapons and stuff like that. B is for your build menu, so this is for walker parts, walker wings, crafting, like beds and all of that. G is your clan menu, so you can see how to recruit people and information and the roster. If you were to click on this area as well, it opens up into a bigger menu. M is for your map to see your personal map and the world map with all the fast travel options. You need water to be able to travel to different places, because different places offer different things. And then you have slash for voice chat, so that's pretty self-explanatory. If we're looking at statistics as well, the blue one down in the bottom left is your water, the green bar is your stamina, and the red is your HP bar. So this is where you can monitor your statistics and stuff like that. Make sure you keep that water up, and stamina will be used via running or running with your water, so keep an eye on that bar. Make sure when you're about to leave a session, you do transfer to lobby. This will save your walker and your character's belongings and it will be safe from others, so it is extremely important to press this. You might have a cooldown on it, so make sure you don't get hit in that cooldown um, before you leave. So this is extremely important. Do not log out without doing this, otherwise people might kill you and loot your walker and then all your progress will be lost. Out in Lost Oasis as well, you can find really important things like loot. So I recommend once you've got your footing on a walker, you get out there and you start looting. You can find it in structures kind of like this. This is a perfect example at the moment. I'm right at this big one right now, but there can be ones a lot smaller. And if you are to smack these, you can see they have quite a bit of durability sometimes. But if you are to smack them, you can get loot out of them, which is very handy for starters. So I got fragments out of that one and a simple repair hammer. And a bag here, I got fibre arm wraps. So keep an eye out for structures like this, or smaller ones, because you can get stuff out of them which might be just really important to you. That's what I would also keep an eye out for when I'm starting off in this game. Also another thing when you get a walker is to stick wings on it. It's not so good if people were to find you, but it is really good for getting up hills and stuff like that. I found getting up mountains a huge pain in the ass because it would go really slow. So if I'm to go and open my storage and stuff like that, you can see there's nothing to put wings here, right? But you can see this is where I can upgrade things like cargo, water, mobility, armor and stuff like that. So it is important to have to be on and to store things in. But what I'm actually looking for is to go on my build menu. 
in my walkers department I actually learnt a thing called wings so if you were to click on that you can attach it to a bear walker to be able to do this they will cost a little bit to make but once you've got them they are pretty worth it so they usually take fibre rolls and maybe a bit of shaped wood to make Fibre rolls are something you can find or it's something you can actually get but you will need to make a fibre working station to get it to make the fibre weave to make that. And if you're lacking the fragments just make sure you kill monkeys and or you go and loot things like this. You can get a lot of fragments out of some things and that will be very handy for your experience. So just bear that in mind we do need those fragments they are important so grab as many as you can. Or just ruthlessly start killing lots of monkeys and whatever else is in your area. Just be careful because some mobs are a lot harder than others and they might be quite difficult to deal with in a low state. The grapple is also something essential to learn. You can learn this in equipment. It's up here. There you go, the repaired grappling hook. It will take you 35 fibre, 22 wood and 2 wood shafts to make. Then you are to craft it in your C tab. It will be under tools. And this is important because you need it for pretty much everything, for grabbing onto wings of a ship to raid people or whatever else. You connect to things with middle mouse button and then you reel in with E and then you reel out with Q. So grapple is essential in this game, get one as soon as you can, I do highly recommend it. That and placing plenty of sleeping bags or when you die you can respawn at your walker just make sure you don't die too close to each other in an interval otherwise you will permanently die and lose your stuff but anyway that's my starter guide for today if you have any suggestions for new players make sure you leave it in the comments down below that will help each other out in this new experience of the game it's going to be great fun and i will be uploading some series on it because i am having an absolute blast on it but anyway thank you for watching i love you and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye